For 10 years, every time I would feel love for another man, I stabbed my heart with a cross to kill it until I could not feel any more. Di universiti, saya terpaksa patuh kepada etika pemakaian di sana. Kedua, perubahan dari segi bentuk tubuh badan saya memang ketara. Kalau ada tempat yang terima dan bertoleransi dengan maknya, mungkin saya akan teruskan universiti. I think it's a powerful thing uh, for this person to have their voice heard. Uh, it's important for maknya uh, to feel um, that they can put their issues on the table and it can be talked about because at the end of the day, it can't just be one person, the minority, talking about this. It needs to be everyone and it needs to be, most importantly, members from the majority group who have a feeling of empathy, who have a feeling of understanding and approach it from a, feeling, from, from, from a position of wanting to make everyone feel included. Um, bila orang dengki dekat kita, Itu bermaksud yang kita sebenarnya berada di atas tangga dia. Bukan yang kita kat bawah dia. Sebab tu dia rasa macam, ah, I'm so insecure dan I should I should frown upon him and I should curse him because I feel so insecure. It's your own legs that carve your own path. It's not your partner that will draw the, the path. For 10 years, every time I would feel love for another man, I stabbed my heart with a cross to kill it until I could not feel any more. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> As a straight woman, I never have to think about these things. Don't kill it. Don't try to kill it. You know, there are other people out there who feel you have the right to have these feelings and you can't kill it. And if you're killing it because you think your God wants you to kill it, God doesn't want you to kill your love. I think, if anything, I think God wants us to show more love uh, in the world. We don't need less of love, we need more of love. So don't try to kill it. If, if you feel it, uh, embrace it. So a few weeks ago, we actually organized a gathering between the LGBTQ people and their parents. And we have also collected some messages written by their parents. So we would like you to read some of them. Dear parents, your child is their own person. Your child is not an extension of you. Let them be who they are. Let them love who they want and be happy. Um, so sweet, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, hati tu dia bukan satu yang kita apa kita boleh bagi tahu uh, okay ini orang you boleh <laughs> you know what I mean uh, it's like the heart is it's something very it's it's personal it's itu milik orang itu kita tak boleh ajar apa yang dia patut rasa terhadap siapa-siapa kalau dia cinta seseorang you just yeah <laughs> you you sayanglah orang tu kan yeah